All right, welcome back to another episode of An Entrepreneur's Journey. My name is Nicholas Coriano. Today we have Stephen Cutter Jr. and Mr. Larry Haynes. Mr. Larry Haynes has something very interesting. I met Larry through um, Stephen. If you can mute that, uh, you're, you're popping up on the screen. Um, perfect. So Mr. Larry Haynes uh, has a very cool uh, technology he's working with in conjunction with some of the things that me and Stephen have talked about. I'll interview Stephen separately later uh, with a couple of things that we're working on. But as you guys know, who follow me on the vlog, I have a ton of property throughout the U.S. I'm looking to build sustainable homes. And I ran into Larry Haynes and I'm going to let Harry, Larry introduce himself because he has a really cool technology that we're going to some way or another implement into our properties and our, our plan. Um, so go ahead, Larry, introduce yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Larry Haynes, and uh, let's see if I pop up on the screen here. Yep, you got it. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen. We're basically starting a brand new uh, company that's a social enterprise that, uh, and I, I'm stealing this from a, a, a brownie uh, company. Uh, they said their mission statement was, we don't hire people to bake brownies. We bake brownies so that we can hire people and give them a better life. And so that's kind of the same way we translate that to housing is I'm not hiring people to build affordable housing. I'm trying to build affordable housing so we can hire and train people on how to build it into the future with robotics, the Internet of Things, uh, the different sustainable developments that we're going to be doing. So uh, that's the social purpose is to bring people up and get the median incomes and the income levels up so people can afford houses. It's kind of the old Model T where Henry Ford paid people five dollars a day so they could actually go out and afford a car. Uh, which was unheard of at the time. So I'm going to share my screen right now and show you uh, just a quick video, and I'm going to kind of walk you through this. This is uh, some some of the press we've gotten off of, uh, and I'm going to pop this screen up a little bit bigger. Is, can you see that okay? Yep, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is a video of a house that was just built in Russia, and it was done by a 3D printer, which you'll see here in just a minute. This is just a demonstration model. This was actually built with this machine here. This house was built in a 24-hour period. And even though it's, uh, you know, about uh, less than 40 square meters, it, the demonstration is it was built in negative 35 degree weather. And it, it uh, basically is what we're going to be using here in the United States to uh, build affordable housing. I've got a real estate development and I'm going to pop that up on the screen here uh, real quick. And this is it. It's a 21 acre uh, development and I'll just walk you through it real quick. It's This is going to be a sustainable eco village, but it's not going to be based only around food production like so many of the other uh, eco villages are around the world. This is going to be based on high tech. We start back here, we've got 106 tiny houses. Uh, when I call them tiny, I'm not talking about the ones that are on a trailer. I'm talking about a 400 square feet up to about a 1200 square foot house. These are all them uh, in the back, there's 106 of them. We've got an amphitheater here for social interaction on the weekends, that sort of thing where people wanna you know, play music, talk, give speeches, do poetry, whatever. Prayer garden here. We've got some pull throughs for tiny houses and RVs that want to stay, as well as uh, in this area, we've got uh, about 26 different cabins. So that when you come on the site and you learn about how to build an eco village in your area, you've got some place to stay. So consider this kind of our hotel, but uh, it's more geared to uh, unique uh, areas to stay in. <laughs> this up here is greenhouses. We're going to be doing aquaponics. Uh, growing chicken, raising eggs. This whole area here is going to be a food forest. We've got uh, solar power, wind power, and we're actually collecting the the waste, human waste from all these houses back here. And we're going to be creating a biogas, um, uh, which will drive thermal energy to help the greenhouses uh, in the wintertime, but also uh, provide energy and put that back into the microgrid. Up here, we'll have robotics labs and in, uh, where we build um, the uh, and train people on how to build the, pr the printers and use those um, in the construction across the country of how to build affordable housing in every 50 state. Um, we've got the Internet of Things 3D printing unit up here. We've got uh, in this area right here a culinary school and restaurant, which will be using the produce and things from, from the gardens here and the aquaponics systems. 
This will be electric vehicle production and training. If you think about all the Teslas and, and different Toyotas that are out there uh, these days, um, there's nobody training people on how to fix them. And so that'll be a big uh, push as more and more uh, cars are become electric or dual purpose like the Toyota Prius. People are going to need to know how to fix those cars. And we want to do that here. <clears throat> this area over here, we're actually working in conjunction with Texas a and School of Architecture. And this will be a sustainable uh, eco-versity, um, basically to teach people how to do sustainable development throughout this whole area. And that's when you come here to the school or for weekend classes, you'll be able to stay here, talk to people throughout, walk around, see for yourself how it's done. So that's uh, kind of where we are, uh, Nick. Um, so this is really this is really an eco village, um, but it's also a place to come learn how to build eco villages, correct? It, it will be that way for the foreseeable future. You can either live here or you can come and stay for a while. There'll be some rental units. You can stay for six months, whatever. And what are, what are some of the pieces of the puzzle? What If you had a shout out to the world like we're doing now, what are some of the pieces that you want um, to give you a call? I mean, do you want contractors to give you a call? Do you want landowners to give you a call, investors to give you a call? Uh, basically, we're looking right now, like any of these, it's just a real estate investment opportunity. So we'll be looking for accredited investors to bring uh, their millions of dollars to the table. And we want to give them uh, return on investment. But I'm really looking for real estate investors that that are understand the social purpose. And let me give, give you just one example of what I'm talking about. When you look at the median income for a family of four over you know decades, we are earning the same, um, for a family of four is earning the same amount of money as they earned back in 1989. And so what you're seeing is as costs go up, we're, our families aren't getting anywhere. And so the middle and lower class are being pushed down and pressures being put on them financially as healthcare costs go up and so forth and so on. Um, and they're being squeezed out of the market in, in so many things, in healthcare, in housing, uh, in opportunity. Um, as robotics takes over, as the Internet of Things and automation take over, you're going to see people losing jobs to these services. And what this village is all about is basically trying to build a social and, and economic infrastructure for the change going into the future. We want to teach people how to take these jobs of the future and incorporate them into communities. And so it's a good way for people, both on the government and non-governmental level, to learn. Uh, we've got to do things different if we expect a different result. So yeah, I couldn't uh, I couldn't agree with that statement more, Larry. The the cost of living has skyrocketed, and the wages have stayed the same. Um, one of the components you mentioned to me when we first met is that um, training for vets, uh, military vets, which I really loved. Um, I feel like a couple of things that that contribute to their PTSD isn't just uh, being in combat, it's coming back home and having lack of community. Um, when they're in the military, they have this tribe, this tight-knit group, and when they come home, they, they have nothing. Um, and then also it gets them out in nature, uh, which is also therapeutic for them, uh, and also gives them a sense of uh, well-being, of, of creating something of value for, for everyone can benefit from. Stephen, I couldn't agree more. I mean, we, we're trying to work with, uh, and I don't have the time to go into the slides and all that sort of thing, but we're trying to work with veterans organizations around the country. One of them is the Non-Commissioned Officers Associations, whose main job is to help veterans find and their spouses find jobs and reconnect with community. Um, and, and so that's just one of the many that we want to work with in the future. Okay, well, this was a quick 10 minutes. We're, we're getting to our mark here. So I just want to tell all my viewers, if you're interested in anything like this, if you like sustainable living, if you're an investor, if you're interested in 3D printing, if you feel like you can add to this project, I'm going to put my email down below. Um, the new Sun Economy is Larry's company. Larry, you want to shout out your email address really quick? Yeah, it's just Larry at SunConomy.com. S-U-N and, and the word economy, but without the E. Yep, I'm circling it here on my screen. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in to another episode of An Entrepreneur's Journey. Please, please, please contact me or Larry if you guys are interested in this 3D printing, sustainable building. You guys know what I'm doing with my properties. Now you guys have met Larry, and I'll have Stephen Cutter again in next time who has a very interesting project on ride sharing as well. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and we'll talk another time on an entrepreneur's journey. Thanks, a lot.